Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to find out how strong are drills. And not only small drills, but also like adult sized good drills. The setup is really simple. With each drill, we are going to drill hole on the press tool and then flip the drill around, plug it inside there on its own hole. And then, just like on <laughs> drill press, we are going to press the drill against steel, but this time it's not spinning. I think this would be even funnier when it's spinning to see like how hard you can push it while it's drilling before it explodes, but that's quite tricky to set up. So it's not going to spin today. And I hope that this explodes. I think the bigger the drill, the higher chance for explosion. And here we go. Yeah, they clearly explode. And I don't want to like crush it too much because to be able to drill the next hole, we have to be able to pull the old drill out because I don't want to always make new fresh tool for all the sizes. Okay, next size. I think this was eight and a half millimeters, but it's a magnum, so it's better. <laughs> yeah, and the old drill was really hard to get out. So I think we have to make really shallow holes for them to stay up there. And soon we have also start to cut the drills to be shorter so we can fit them there. But the danger value is surely there. Even the small drill sent really fast shrapnel. So <laughs> I think this is going to be a great day. And here we go. Okay, that doesn't look good. And I, I, I only now crush them like one bang because every time I press more and more, it gets more and more stuck. But yeah, I think that's, that's going to be interesting. Let's have a look at the high speed. Here we go. Yeah, the play do flies out when the, I'm not sure does the drill sink or does it break slightly, but the, Play two is really fast. I think I can calculate how fast it is, but it's fast. Yeah, that's really bad. That's really bad. And we have the big ones and everything. Holy shit. Okay, 12 millimeters. And it's not Magnum, but it's premium brand. <laughs> and it's golden. So it should be really good. And I think this is the point when this really starts to get a bit dangerous. But uh, I'm not too worried about this yet, but I'm a bit worried where we are ahead with if we keep this going on. But let's worry that later. Here we go. Oh, fine. Yeah, it's getting more interesting. The whole drill just went. Okay, and here are the end results. These are not super heavy or super fast, but they are super sharp. So at least against the polycarbonate, the sharpness helps, but it's only like maybe one or two millimeters dense. And I don't see anything major on the steel box. So I think we are completely okay to go to next size. Okay, in Finland we have this thing called välikevennys. How should I translate? It's like a halftime show. By <laughs> to like relax a little bit between the fear of death. So this is a wood drill. And I'm not sure it's as hard material as the steel drills, but it looks way nastier. So let's relax a little bit by crushing this one. Yeah, just as I worried, it's too soft material, but it looks nice, you, you cannot deny that. Yeah, but now when we are refreshed and again ready to face the danger, we are going to go to the next size.
Okay, and now we are on like big boy sizes. These have this, I'm not sure what this is in English, like cone shaped attachment thing. So we have to uh, cut the uh, drills with the bandsaw to make them fit. And it's pretty loose there for some reason. I think I have to make a longer hole for the next size. But I'm pretty sure it's still going to explode and it's, it's going to be really bad. Vittu hän syöhän tuolla ei vittu. Oi saatana, okei. Okay. Okei, okay, nyt try. What the hell? It ricocheted out. Okei, okay, that was already pretty good. How strong it was, I didn't check. Two and a half tons. Yeah, but I'm not a very like sharp guy because I had this steel plate here. It's like upside down. This should be down here, like they are there. <laughs> because it's just like this. The uh, some of the shrapnel it ricocheted from the back wall through this opening against our blast shield. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's a good thing to have that there as a backup. But I'm going to now flip this right side around so nothing flies out anymore. Okay, this is a 22 millimeter. And now to uh, like show how dangerous this is, we add stunt watermelon. And I have tilted the drill slightly in a way that the shrapnel is going to fly towards the watermelon. <laughs> but don't worry, he has a safety glasses. Okay, this is going to be great. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure. Let's pop this open and have a look. At least the safety glasses are gone. How much force it was? It was pretty decent like thump already. Oh, that's, that's quite much. Okay, let's have a look. The watermelon didn't get hit. How about the glasses? Hey, I think the glasses actually worked. Let's have a look on the high speed. It might also be that we slightly missed the melon, but... Hey! <laughs> the glasses work! <laughs> Who would guess that the safety glasses work? Yeah! Hey! This is like educational. Remember to wear safety glasses. That surely would hurt without the glasses. Yeah, this is so great. <laughs> I think we have to go one size more. More with the drills. Yeah, but this is so great. Okay, bigger drill. This is 30 millimeters, so quite much larger. But more interestingly, compared to the last drills, where the bandsaw goes like Kusihankeen, which means like hot pee into the snow. It's just like sinks there, easy to cut. With these, it just destroyed the bandsaw blade, and I had to use grinder to cut it. So these are much, much, much harder material. So they should be much, much more explosive also. So it's, it's quite scary to see what's going to happen. Yeah, but... Uh, we are still safe, it's just like really nerve cracking to be like two meters away from something really bad, even if there's like stuff between you and the bad. I don't like this, but here we go. Okay, fine. Really? 
really hard to say what happened. Our uh, brand new light also disappeared. There's a lot of stuff on the polycarbonate. Are the lights okay? <laughs> there is uh, one, one of the shrapnels is top of the second light. Yeah, this is okay. I think, I think the watermelon didn't got hit. 17 tons. Yeah, so not super bad. Okay, I'm not, I'm not pleased before we kill one of the watermelons. So I add friend to the safety class guy. And he's not so wise guy as the safety class guy. Because he doesn't care, he goes without safety classes. And now we are going to see how that's going to end up for he. I think it's not going to be pretty. Don't try this at home. And here we go. I'm not sure that the melons get hit, but this was, this was much more. No, it was less. I felt like it was more. Uh, yeah, let's open the box and have a look. Okay, that was really dangerous, but uh, I was about to say unfortunately, but if you are on like side of the watermelons, I would say fortunately, it went to the another direction. It seems to make really narrow spray of shrapnel in like ra totally random direction. So the watermelons has to have really bad day to get hit. And that was our last drill that I bought for this use. But if you like this video, please let me know. And I'm going to buy even bigger drills and so many watermelons or whatever you want to get there inside of the like shrapnel rain that they are going to get hit. <laughs> yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.